Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. How are you all? Hope you're all well. Sorry the sun's actually blaring in my face. Um, I'll walk this way. Uh, so currently I'm going out to meet one of my biggest fans. I will uh, won't tell you who just yet. I'll uh, show you them when I meet up with them. But uh, yeah, following my career and my Instagram for a while. If you don't follow my Instagram, it's Coleman underscore fitness underscore or I'll just link it down below. Um, but yeah, so currently going to go out for a walk, you know, try and get about 7-10,000 steps in. I bought some gymnastic rings, so I need to actually go this way. So I bought some gymnastic rings and I kind of want to go and try them out. So I'm going to go and find somewhere I can put them and then hopefully use them. Uh, currently still obviously on my diet. I uh, Today I weighed in at 80.4 kg. So that's me down about, I think it's 2 kg so far, which is good. Obviously you do weight, lose weight quite fast at the start when you do your cut due to like water weight and things. However, as the cut progresses, you'll start to slow down. So when that point happens, I will obviously give you more tips. But right now, I'll kind of keep that for later on. Try and keep you watching. Um, sorry, this sun is actually killing my eyes. So yeah, cut it out for a walk. Uh, Another thing I'm going to try and do is give you a few tips throughout the video as well and how you can get more steps in throughout your days to try and add, you know, a couple of, maybe a couple of thousand more steps per day in. Um, especially if you're an office worker like myself or just someone who has been, I don't know, sits down a lot basically. Tips and tricks you can do to try and add your step count, which is obviously good, especially if you're in a cut because it's not too taxing where you want to feel hungry. I think I've been over this a hundred times, but it's beneficial enough. Um, I am also drinking later on because there's a box match on, Mike Tyson free Roy Jones Jr., which is quite exciting. So I'll obviously go through a few tips as well on how I manage to drink and stuff and what I kind of do in a cut so I can have those drinks later on at night. Um, just some tricks so you're not like going loads on your calories, going overdosing the calories. But yeah, I'll come to that later on in the video to keep you watching still. Um, another thing I'm going to do is also make a crispy chicken, like KFC type meal towards the end. However, I'll be making it more, less, like a lot less calories, just for you as people who are also on a cut, who are trying to, you know, eat less calories, but start to get cravings for, you know, your fast food and things, or maybe you want that katsu curry. This is a wee trick I use to kind of keep my calories low, low sorry. So I'll follow up with you again when I'm with my biggest fan. I'll see you with when I'm With my there. biggest fan, uh, I'll try and get you a wee show of him. Been waiting to see me for ages. There he is, there he is, Kami K. Yeah. It's always good doing meet and greets with fans, you know, they get to meet their idols. Kami's been idolising me for the past like four to six years. How long? High school, so it must be like eight years. So yeah. So we're going to do a wee workout with the rings and stuff, play around. I'll try and get some clips in a minute. See when we've set it all up. So that's me at the kind of park area in St. Leonard, Cisco Bride. I've got my gymnastic rings here. 101. <laughs> and he's obviously using them. Looking smooth. Um, I'll try and get some clutch myself on there. Obviously I can't do much because my back and that. But um, I'm starting to get good at them. You do feel them in your abs after a day or two. And you do feel the pump in your chest. Um, I'd say it's a really good investment for if you can't go to the gym at the moment with lockdown. It's really good because obviously you can just put them up in the goalpost like I have here. Or you can, if you've got a pull-up bar, it's really good. I've tried it in pull-up bar in my house. And um, watch your chest, back, your core. It's honestly probably the best piece of equipment I've got so far. Like I've bought bands and stuff, which are great, but it's a lot better because you get more um, of your upper body worked. And then obviously you just need to do squats and stuff for your lower body. But yeah, I'll try and get a few clips of me doing it. Apologies if it's absolute crap, but we'll see how it goes. So oh, a clip of me doing it there. Um, as I said, I'm crap at them, but with anything, you just need to work in it. Uh, Cammy's only done it about four times and he seems to have mastered it so far. Um, but it's really good for pull ups. I'll try and get a few clips of me doing the pull ups. With the rings, because the way they are positioned, it's really good for joint rotation, so you don't feel too much joint pressure like you would in a pull up bar. And I feel like it's a wee bit easier, but you definitely work the back a lot better. But I'll uh, show you through some of the clips I'll get in here. So I forgot in the video I was meant to actually be going through. Oh, and here comes a bus. Sorry. 
So I forgot in the video, I was actually meant to be giving tips on like how you can increase your steps and stuff. So I think one of the big ones is trying to meet up, obviously with the coronavirus it's quite hard, but trying to meet up with a, like a friend or try to go out with somebody and just go out walks and stuff, which kind of makes it a bit more enjoyable because then you're more willing, you're chatting away, and next thing you know, you've done like, you know, five to 7,000 steps without actually realizing, because time flies obviously when you're having fun. Um, I'd say another big tip is if your gym's about 20 minutes away or the shops are about 20 minutes away, try just walking to the gym or the shops. Understandably, if you drive and it's, you know, chucking it outside, then maybe, yeah, drive. But if it's like obviously a wee bit cold or it's sunny, try and walk, then you'll get more steps in. For me, it takes me 20 minutes to walk to the gym. However, by the time I've walked to the gym and home, I've done about 4K, which is roughly about 8,000 steps. So, you know, that's how I keep my steps in. Uh, so yeah, I'll come up with more tips as uh, I keep going on with the video. So I'm currently on my way home. Sorry, it's a wee bit dark. I know it might be hard to see me, but um, yeah, just trying my best. It is a wee bit lighted, but I need to work with. So my next tip would be, especially if you work in an office. So if you're sitting down a lot, depending if you're taking calls, if you're not taking calls, if you sit and just work on a laptop a lot, um, probably the best thing you can do is every so often, just try and stand, move around, walk about. If you've got a break between calls, you know, stand, move, walk about. If you're like myself, the department I work in is really busy, so it's quite hard to, um, you know, get a call breaks. However, you obviously get breaks as in lunch breaks and normal breaks. So I get two 15 minutes in an hour. So, you know, maybe if on my 15 minutes, I'll try and get outside a wee bit or even on my lunch, I'll try and walk outside a wee bit. Um, depending on how long you get, obviously, you can maybe even pre-make your lunch before the day before and then that means you can have maybe something to eat then go out for like 10-15 minutes and just try and move around that way um, depending on the weather obviously uh, understandably it is crap um, but you could even try sorry the light is pure crap so obviously with the weather being the way it is you could even just try and move around your house if you live in a flat just try and move, move around your flat um, if you've got a close you could try and use the stairs but um, yeah so that would be my next tip for you so I'll catch you in the next clip so that's me home uh, I've already prepared the chicken the fried chicken um, I'll show you when it comes out. I think I'll show you a clip before it goes in, if I know how to edit that in. Um, but basically what I done was, I got one cup of cornflakes, I got one cup of breadcrumbs, and I, it does say to blend it up, but you know, if you get a Ziploc bag, you can mash it all up fine. Um, I do have a blender, but I thought more people who don't have blenders could just do it that way. That seemed to have worked fine. Um, normally, I would put it in a frying pan, however, this time I've decided to put it in the oven at 230 degrees Celsius. I've put it in for 20 minutes, so 10 minutes I'll flip it round and we'll see how it turns out. I'll try and get a few clips of it in. Um, to add on, you could add anything on with it, so you could obviously add your rice if you wanted to. I'm having chips, you can put a wee bit of curry sauce on it, do all sorts of things. So I'll show it when it comes out. Um, you can also add more things to it, so like you could get some Doritos, add it in with the uh, cornflakes and things, smash it all up and put it in. And I think the chicken itself with the bread comes in the cornflakes, works out to about 200 to 330 calories. Um, you'll see when it comes out. Best thing you can do as well with the chicken is if it's like thick, just cut it into thin slices, so two thin slices. Try and press it down a bit, make it a bit more even, um, and then obviously start bread crumbing it. If you're doing it, you can use buttermilk, which obviously is okay. However, I'm lactose intolerant, so I've decided to go with an egg. So I just put one egg in, I put about 250 mils of water in it, whisk it all up, and then you can dip it in. In the bag of the corn uh, flakes and the breadcrumbs, you can add a wee bit of salt and pepper and a wee bit of cumin, shake it all up, mash it down, and that'll add a bit more flavour to it all. Um, so yeah, next clip I'll show you what it looks like and what it comes out in. Um, so yeah, hopefully it tastes good. So I forgot to say another tip that I forgot to uh, show you or tell you for like obviously going out and walks. If you're ever driving to the shops, earlier on I said you can walk, but if you do need to drive, what you could also do is maybe park a wee bit further away from the actual shops itself, and then obviously you give yourself that distance to walk there and back, which obviously helps you add in a bit more steps and things. Um, so that's probably the last tip I'll give you. I'm not going to give you any more. Um, there's loads of things you can do to get your steps in, but those are just a couple I follow myself. Um, so the next thing you'll see is the chicken when it's all prepared. So yeah, I'll see you in the next clip. So I did make a clip of my dinner, um, showing you what I made, how it looked and things. I had a full discussion and uh, yeah, then it's safe. Nowhere to be found. So um, yeah, so basically I'll just show pics of it. Um, I think I explained how it was all made. I'll need to look back. Uh, 
but basically it's just kind of a ziplock bag you put your conflicts and things in i went into discussion already and then it came out brilliant there's pics of it so i'll try and edit the pics in maybe somewhere here maybe who knows if i can do that i'll do it um but yeah i thought i'd just end the video here thanks for watching and um, my next video will be on alcohol i know i said i was going to do that today but i decided the video was long enough so i'll just make another one and make that throughout the week and then that gets you to keep watching me right well thanks for watching the videos have a nice day bye